Today we're making spicy tomato sauce. So for that you'll need 200 grams of fine tomatoes, 60 ml of chicken stock, tomato puree, sun-dried tomato puree if you can get it, a uh, small amount of red wine, some dried herbs like uh, basil or oregano, chili flakes and some fresh basil. Hello. So today's uh, spicy tomato sauce is something that I use a lot for um, Italian dishes. I can go with pasta, um, but also to go on maybe like the base of a homemade pizza as well. Uh, it's really easy to do. You can again make it ahead of time. And uh, yeah, let's go and make some spicy tomato sauce. For this uh, recipe, I use um, vine tomatoes, but like, uh, well, these are an Italian pomme del more tomatoes, but really it's like a cherry tomato. You're looking for something that's um, uh, like a, a, a sweet tomato to go with this recipe. I think traditionally, you sort of see plum tomatoes used a lot for, uh, for recipes like this. You can use plum tomatoes, but this just has this slightly different texture to it. Um, the plum tomatoes kind of give it like a, a smooth texture, but this one's just, it's a spicy one, so it doesn't matter if it's just got that little bit of extra edge to it. And then just quarter the tomatoes. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just making sure I cut through the, uh, through, through the end there when I'm quartering them. Okay, so I've got my tomatoes uh, chopped up. Now, I'm just going to put about 60 ml of, um, of chicken stock, which is, you know, I've, I've used a chicken cube type thing, a chicken stock cube thing here. Um, and we want to heat that up and just get that boiling. So the reason why we do this is because it just helps um, when we add the tomatoes, just to give it that little bit of liquidy so they, they just don't burn as soon as you, um, as soon as you start cooking. As you'll see, we really are just, just, just about covering the bottom of the pan with this. So we don't need a right lot. And then we can just put our, put our tomatoes uh, in there. And we put it on quite a high heat. Oh, another one chopped up there. And then we wait for these to boil. I'm just going to turn the heat down just a little bit because I can just feel that it might just slightly be catching on the bottom of the pan now. But this is almost getting to the stage where we want to uh, start adding some of the, the other elements to it. Now, um, you saw me put chicken stock in. I know there would be some people that would put olive oil in, and I guess you can put olive oil in there if you if you want to. Okay, so I'm just going to take that take that off the heat for a second. Um, and I'm going to put some, just bring you around there a little bit. Um, and I'm going to put some sun-dried tomato puree in here. Now, originally, um, I tried this just with, well, I tried it with just normal tomato puree, and that was, it worked absolutely fine. Um, but then with the lockdowns, you couldn't get it. So, but the only thing you could get was sun-dried tomato. It was more expensive, but I bought it. And it really did bring this, um, this, this recipe to another level. Um, I'm putting in about, well, I'm putting in about a tablespoon there, probably even two tablespoons, um, because I'm coming to the end of this one, so I don't want to waste it. Um, and this just, just, just serves just to thicken it up nicely, and that's okay if, it, if it's starting to look quite thick. Um, I'd also put about, usually I'd use oregano, um, but I've got marjoram here, because I'm out of oregano, so about tablespoon in there. You could put dried um, basil in if you wanted to. And you can see that that's getting quite, again, quite nice, quite thick sauce. Now, again, you're gonna have to judge this for yourselves. It's a spicy, 
it's, it's, a, it's a spicy sauce. Um, I can't tell you how much spice to put in here. I guess I'm putting about half a, half a tablespoon, well, half a teaspoon in there. Um, and just stir that through. You can always add a little bit more. And then the other thing we want to do as well is just get a little bit of red wine. And again, just put a splash of red wine in there. And then you'll see it's going to start going, it's getting a lot more runny now. It smells really quite nice. And we're just going to put that back on the heat and just let, let that reduce just a little bit longer. Now, if you wanted, you could just leave the sauce like that. You just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't, doesn't burn too dry and, and that's it. But if you want to notch it up another level, then I would put in some fresh basil leaves. The aromas you will get from having the, the fresh leaves uh, along with the taste is just immense. And again, we'll just notch this up to be you know, I'm going to go from wow to super wow. And that really is it. So again, like many other things, if you're having guests over, you can just let this cool down and just be, um, and just wait for them to get, get to the right point and, and then just heat it up and then just cover your pasta um, with this, or as I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as the base for my um, for my pizza uh, that I'm going to make. But there you are, spicy tomato sauce. red onion, some green pepper, mushrooms, of course, some roast potatoes, some spicy beef. Now let's go and put